make that reverse sweep happen or if Godsent will send them packing with a 2-0 today. See if he can get any Godsent homes in the chat. Um, I think that's kind of what Godsent's going for here. Very, very quick approach from Big straight up into Con. He got the smoke onto jungle side and Maiden's trying to find some openers before they get too deep. Sticko's done a decent job from Palace there as Farleg on the A side. So Big not really getting too much done. They're kind of all sitting in towards window, in towards connector. No bomb site control, and they've lost a couple of players, Jordan. They have indeed. Not a great start here for Big at all. And Godsent are starting to... Well, I mean, I guess it's not fair to say yet that they're starting to run away with the map. But they're putting that groundwork down and building a nice position to bounce and launch from. Three on five. Just need to make sure that they don't let this round slip away. Searson, Kido, and Tamsin are going to do their best to ensure that that is going to happen. A lot of utils still here for Crystal, so won't be feeling too unconfident over toward that B bomb site. If they hear some footsteps, they can throw that nade in. But it's going to be big uh, grouping up in towards T spawn and working over towards A. Probably no early rotation coming across from Godsend, but for now, they don't need to. They have a numbers advantage, and that's fine. Yeah, they got a P250. They got no utility. Two of these players are armless, armless so those are those body shots are going to do a fair bit more work. Well, there's a chance, and that's if Big hit their shots and come out swinging, and that's exactly what they're going to be doing. Although spotted finally, Farley makes his way through. Sticko going to be first point of contact under balcony, but it's going to be Farley to find the first. Sticko with another, and Farley with the triple in total. So that's going to be Godsent starting strong here on Mirage 1 and 0. Mm -hmm. Quick pause. Yeah, I just uh, saw a man disappear from the server. Oh, he's doing a disappearing act. See you later. I reckon you would be a pretty, like, good magician. And when I say good, like, good at being one of those magicians at kids' parties, that's pretty terrible. Oh, yeah? Talking to me or Jordan? Jordan. You reckon I would be that? Yeah. Whereas I'd be you'd one... You'd be like really fake enthusiasm with the kids. And you'd be like, you want to see a balloon animal? <laughs> hey, Pilsky, you want to see a magic trick? I've got a few magic tricks up my sleeve. I can make this flower disappear. You sound like you're doing a bad English dub over Pokemon right <laughs> now. Like really fake Pikachu! enthusiasm. <laughs> we got to save the <laughs> Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, imagine like the dialogue in Japanese was so much better than that and you're just trying to like, <laughs> yeah, not being paid enough for this job and you're just really struggling with your lines. You're just trying to do your best. <laughs> we gotta find Caterpie. <laughs> How many Pokemon do you guys know? Oh, uh, 700. Charmander, Me Mewtwo, Meowth. War Turtle. I don't even know that was one. <laughs> Are you serious? What kind of a childhood did you have? Bellsprout. Bellsprout. Yep, Bellsprout. Blossom. Oh, that's a good one. Blossom? Blossom. Yep. <laughs> Are you just mispronouncing Blossom? No. Blossom. Blossom. Are you cooked? <laughs> You've no. never played Pokemon. This guy's never played Pokemon. That's, that's like Golden Silver. So that's literally second gen. Anyway, we have first gen coming up here because it's Tabson looking sharp at the top of mid. Well... Do you see Big once again trying to make this Deagle and Scout Force by work? They're kind of just getting poked and prodded on all different angles from Godsent. Haven't lost any players on either side just yet. And Big still very standoffish, uh, standoffish approach towards middle now, trying to contest Connector a little more. And Tizian's over in B apartment, spamming his Deagle away. And so far, nothing crazy happening. That's a cute little one-way from Sticko. Actually using the T-Smoke to his advantage. This is the mid-round aggression in from Godsent. They've got a couple players posturing in some more aggressive positions. Not a bad start here for Godsent. Farley has managed to find himself a couple of kills. Now Searson, always good for one with that scout, but not able to do a whole lot more than that. Here comes Tizian and Xantaras through the apartments. and. I mean, Tizian again continues to put in good work with that Deagle. Oh. How is this happening? Could have been so dangerous if Crystal would have dropped there because Maiden would have been one shot as well. But look, Godsent do get through it with a couple of guns. I mean, it's not ideal. It's not the perfect anti-eco, mostly thanks to Tizian. But still 2-0. Better than losing the round to the Deagles and the uh, Scout. And now they're into the proper anti-eco. So they can try to build up a little bit more money in this round. 
God sent off to a good start on their opponent's map pick. Starting to look a bit more convincing. They're really, they're quite uh, confident, it seems. You know, in contrast to what we saw in the first half of Vertigo, where they looked a little bit timid, you mm. know, not really fired up. I think Godsend have kind of reignited the flame a little bit. That's not good news for Big at all, is it? This will be an important one to get through, though, pretty cleanly, if you're a Godsend fan. And it looks like they're going to do that so far. Good crossfire set up in mid. A couple of easy picks to start the round off. and So far, so good for Godsend. It's kind of interesting uh, in the context of this group because in realistically, like God sends down a one and four, they're probably not going to make playoffs even if they win this mm. game. Whereas big, if they lose this game, they might just miss out on playoffs. Uh, a lot of teams on that three to two, two to three scoreline. So mm. it's kind of crazy that God sent are kind of bullying them out of this game a little bit. You know, if they end up winning this, particularly on Mirage, a map they don't have any reps on. Very early days. Yeah, I know, but like, it, just think about it. It's kind of crazy, you know. This game doesn't really matter for Godsent in terms of the, the context of this competition, whereas Big, it matters a lot. I suppose you are correct, Pilski, with your hypothesis. Professor Mack, the physics man. I told you, it's what I'm all about. How do you have so many occupations? You've what got you Professor Mack, Me. Coach <laughs> Mack. Caster Mac. That's Me. what he does on the construction site. He's the physics guy with the drill. You know the guy that walks you know around the with the helmet on? With the you drill. Know, you know the physics guy. With I know the, the physics the guy with the drill on the and on the, the work site. The yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I've been to a work site or two on my in my time. Yeah, because you also have several I occupations. Also do, yes. Shitty yes. magician, oh. caster. And Farley goes in with Maid, and that's going to be a solid bit of control coming in for Palace, and God sent solid, surely going to be happy with that. Dude, so they're, they're being so aggressive. Yeah. Just getting in the face of Big. Now you're going to try to see Big reroute back through middle, take that short control. And uh, try to make something happen. Look at the rotations out from Godsend. After securing that palace control, you've seen the push into ramps. He goes gathering all this information. They're just stacking this big bomb site. Playing retake on middle. Big, on the other hand, very much control and emphasis over towards middle. Tizzy and up on the uh, railing there. They've taken that connector control. But, but what will they do with that mid control is what I'm wondering. They fully heard Sticko going aggressive in through a main. And Zantaras is wasting a whole lot of time just going back. Into T-Spawn, running around, making sure that this area is completely filtered out before Big make any decisions. Bomb's going to be left in spawn. This is very disjointed from Big. Like, no one is anywhere near each other. They barely have any utility in this 4-on-5. There's 30 seconds on the clock and none of them are anywhere near each other. Are they just saving? No, surely not. Santaras, the shadow gives him away, so it's Deco. It's a bit of early damage. Let's Zantaras know what's up. This is going to be a very late hit into the V-bomb side, and that what? is one of the ways, I guess, that you're going to get in. I was going to say it's okay. going to take some magical shots, and Big have got it. 15 seconds, they're walking their way into the site. You can hear the chat going off at the moment. Someone's not happy about that one. Okay, Tabson down to 20, almost burning alive completely. Zantara oh, is still waiting at top word. mid, knows that that aggression was coming through, but the trade comes out, and it's Kido last alive on site as Zantara tries to make his way in through apartments, jumping across to Zen to trade, and this is looking good now. There should be some cover on already on the defuse. Zen's actually tapped it, but they've got plenty of time to play with Maiden with a kit. He's going to try and go on the aggressive, demoli buying so much time. Zantara is fully aware that that one was not smoked, and now the time starts to tick down. Zentaras has to get on the line shortly. Covers there, and it's connected. Zen, great shot to close it out for Godson. Oh, the shot from Tizzy and makes that round look so much closer than it actually is. Unreal, unreal. I'd love to see a replay of that. Absolute filth. I like this though it, from Godson. I told you, man, that is sharp. Oh. That is sharp. Just a little one tap. But Godsent, they're playing with so much fire and so much confidence. Magic. They have no pressure on them. They're just rolling around the server playing their game, whereas Big, this game is very important to them, like I was saying. And you could see they're very hesitant, moving very slowly through the map. Mm. How long can Godsent keep that up for, though? It's going to need another 12 rounds here on Mirage. And that sounds like not a lot, but too very often we see the... Underdog team get off to a map win, they upset that first map and then sort of falter a little bit on the second and then you see the reverse sweep pretty comfortably achieved yeah, actually by the favourite. A lot of that time, I feel like that's due to pressure. 
you know, like, oh, we're actually going to win the series and, oh, we can advance to the next stage of the tournament. Mm. God said, I don't know if they have that pressure. They're not, they don't have anything to play for, you know, like, cool to get the upset. Like, in terms of the context of the tournament, in the context of the group. Ooh. Underarm nade. Good damage onto Zantaras and Kita. Godsend still trying to work back from a man disadvantage. And Zen, he's going to be stuck on the short side, but there's no utility to filter him out. And again, it's him and Maiden fighting, but Tizian has something to say about it. No bomb control, though. So 1v3, mm. let's see if he can maybe turn the round on his head. A couple of low HP players, but... Yeah, definitely not looking like a particularly easy situation for him. Would need the ace to win and might not even be going for it. 35 seconds. If he was going to try and retrieve this bomb, he probably would have gone already to try and pick that up. There's not that whole much time. Well, starts to work his way in. And that's perfectly cleaned up by Godsend. That's good to see. 5-0. Money starting to build up a little bit on the CT side, although Big are going to have their buy now. Yeah, Big very much going towards middle quite often, trying to take that middle control. I'm keen to see where they go when they go start to go back to some of these like more site oriented plays where they do just send like a couple out palace and maybe one out ramp and maybe season looks for a pick. Something of that nature. Now, I want to preface this as well. Godsent gets 75% of their rounds on that CT side. From, so from two maps. From two maps. From Not two a good maps. sample size. Okay. But Spooled. they're looking pretty good on the CT side, so you might be onto something, Mac. Well, that's the olive branch. Let's not get too far ahead of ourselves. Right? That's, uh, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Because just... I did that, and look where we are. <laughs> Full BM'd you on the cast. Basically called I'm you an BM'd idiot. I'm not you. I'm just telling you that if... if and then he's like, but you might not be wrong. It's I the was... only sample size we have to go off. When Mitchell. I turned my PC on for one day and was good on the CT side, apparently I'm good on the CT side. That's all I'm saying. Well, you were. That's basically what you it were. is. You were. You <laughs> were. That's true. I was. In that official. In that one game. Or in this case, two games. Oh, that's a lot of info. Yeah, he's been doing that time and time again. So much aggression towards the oh, A side of the map. No way. <laughs> he's in. Barely gets away with his life. What is Big doing? They started to walk towards B. They've got that mid control a little bit. Just light control from Tampson. Oh, Crystal is about to go huge and... Does he even get checked? His Antara seems to be aware. He's going to be clearing it. Great headshot to kick things off. There's a flash out the windows end. Full can't see a thing, but he's going to be traded through. Maiden still just hiding here at bench now. Let's see if he can deny the bomb plant, maybe, or if he's going to be filtered out. One and not a second. That should be the round for Big already. Mm, that's pretty unfortunate for Godsend. They had all the info, but they just didn't hit their shots. Yeah, I think they had a pretty good setup, to be honest. If I've got, like, one player up on top of balcony... Oh, hold on. He okay. goes in with a sniff here. Is it? There's a chance. What's he oh. got? Oh, Bink on to Searson. Dinked, if you will. And you know, he just needs that one more shot. Line not going to be held by his teammate. And this could be at least another found. Now, Tapson going to be stuck there oh. and get right. But he will fight his way out of the round. And big secure of first. Yeah, look, if I've got one on top of Balk and one, like, van area and one at bench, I'm feeling pretty good about defending a B hit. But... Mm. You can see the impact of Santaras and the trading power of Big when they're feeling on point. Just so crisp. Every time one kill is found, or even in terms of that entry, not even one kill. Big are just so on top of just snappily trading. Just uh, a bit more of a return to normalcy from them. After a couple of sketchy rounds going back and forth, Godsense money is looking quite shaky here. But the same thing can be said for Big, only surviving with one player in that last round. At least they have the loss bonus to fall back on, though, and they are on the T side. Whereas Godsent, there's really no room for error here for them. They lose this round, they're probably going to have to take that single save. And that's where you see this 5-1 scoreline that they've done a good job of working for start to fall by the wayside and big get Correct. back into the game. Yeah. That's what I was alluding to a little bit earlier on in that, you know, yeah, it's looking good for Godsent, but they still need to get to 16 on map two before I'm really going to believe. That's the issue with these underdog stories. Yeah, I was just, you know, I was just thinking about it. I was having a little bit of a, uh, you know, fantasy, Jordan. That's a bit weird, but all right. Jordan, else. when? When? When did I ask? That's when? all I'm saying. When did you ask what? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> this is like that time that Pilly told you to turn the iron on because you wanted the iron. Just doesn't make sense. <laughs> Jordan, when? 
<laughs> I don't know when, Mac. Good, because I didn't. What that's does the, when that's even the point. mean? That's the point. Uh, Sticko. One, one run man advantage for B. No. Oh. They've given it up. Sticko, he's found that pick on Tapson, who's just sort of dry walking up connected there. Big now starting to walk up eight. There is two players here for Godsend. Again, another push on the extremity. Crystal's found a lot of information over towards B. Seeing the rotation in from Farlig on the orb. He might just make it here in time, Mac. Mm. I think he might just have the timing. No, Sis, and a little bit too fast on the trigger this time. Sticko and Maiden are going to be forced out to fight and fight together. They shall bomb down a main. Now, Kido needs to try to get something done, but it's going to be Maiden holding perfectly. It's in coming in from oh. the side, but it's not going to be enough. 40 seconds to play with now, and Sticko very confident on the repeat. One on three, let's see what Tizian can do. Been sharp so far today, but not enough to deal with the AWP. Six to one, the scoreline. And that's a really nice rotate across the A bomb site from Godsend. Not only then, and also being able to reinforce that information. Maiden and Stiko very well prepared for these peaks and just playing it perfectly. Devil walks happy with that, as he should be. I feel like, um, I don't, did you see his cap, Jordan? Yep. It looks like he cut up a Greyhound mouse pad and turned it into a hat. <laughs> what do you think of that? Do you rate that? Look, <laughs> much as I love Greyhound, I will just say I'm not a huge fan of their jersey. Fair enough. Or their mouse pad. What? Are you a big fan of uh, Big Seco or no? I thought everyone was a fan. You're the first person I've heard say they're not a fan. Yeah, I just don't like the style. Are you saying you don't like Flora? Are you saying you don't like me? Um, well, look. to be honest, Jordan, you're not really like a, a fashionista or anything like that yourself. So I'm not saying that. I wouldn't really be talking. It's fashion. just a mouse pad, Pilski. It's just an opinion. It's just my opinion. You don't wear it on your head, <laughs> unless you're unless devil, you're devil walk, apparently. <laughs> but you wear those opinions on your heart, and you need to remember that. I, I actually it. like their just normal polo style. Fair enough. Well, another four players surviving on the CT side is really good for Godsense Economy. Had a solid gun round in the last, and then an anti half by here. Goes very well for them. They're up 7 1. Big really struggling to put the pieces together. Uh, looking quite lackluster here on Mirage as well. And I just want to point out like, over the last little bit, we've seen Big play a couple of ESL Pro League games, we've seen Big play Cologne. They've looked uh, mortal on Vertigo before. They've looked mortal on Mirage before against Sprout, as well as Nuke. These are all maps that they're trying to play in the pool up here against Godsend. And uh, again, they're running into some issues. Still, seven rounds for Godsend does not make a map win. They're doing well so far, and they've responded to that pressure that Big put in. This is... Maybe going to be an interesting push from Stiko, but he elects to just set himself on the ramp. Yeah, again, it's a, a aggression on the extremities time and time again for Godsent to get them a lot of information. This time, Big very much set up to deal with that. You can see Tizian is waiting for the push. They got a couple of players outside Palace and Ramp. Yeah, well, they already yeah. waited for the aggression early on in Pal, and now they're just doubling back through Ramp, clearing out this area. Except Stiko isolated, won't overextend, so it's oh, away. That is... <laughs> That is such a weird fight to go the way of the CTs at that point in the round. Like, you've got to be feeling hard done by oh, if you're big. Awkward for Tizian, who might just be put in the crossfire if we can't find one of the men here. Farley able to hold the line onto Balk. Can he trade this one? Tizian, great patience. Well, here we go. Misses the flick and he's punished for it, but they do still have to deal with Maiden, whom they don't expect on the bomb site. Tizian drops 28 seconds and Searson catches him as he floats out into no man's land. It was a chance for Godsend, a numbers advantage even for them, but they can't hang on to it. And now, a difficult post plant retake. No util, apart from that one flash on Sin. Numbers disadvantage. This one might be better off being called right here for Godsend. Their money's not that good. Seems like they're just trying to make this one expensive. You look at Big's money here. Every player that they can pick on their way out of the site is going to be absolute gold. Zen finds Santaras in towards apartments. There's this and caught on the off angle. Actually, I think God's Zen are going for this one. Mm. Okay. Might be too late. Don't have time. Yeah, they don't have time. Zen was already away in towards mid, but they've made it very expensive for Big there. Only Kido survives. You're seeing post this explosion. Look at the money on Big. 
3.9 is seeing Tabson down at 3.6, who will probably be dropped in AK. Tizian at 4.1. Why does that matter? Well, they're not going to have as much util. You can potentially limit your playbook a little bit more. You're not going to have that AWP on Searson, and we know that he's so good at locking down some of these angles. You're looking at the kill he gets here, even going back to that uh, that gun round where they went towards A. He was just posted on CT for ages. Mm. That's a big thing for big... Uh, Terrible use of that word. <laughs> That's an important <laughs> thing for Big. Keck W. As, uh, oh as oh. they often rely on Searson to hold down angles on that T side so that they can focus on other things. So when they don't have that all, it can get a bit more difficult for them. Large, huge, massive. Gigantic. Humongous. In charge. Humongous. You guys talking about me? I'm pretty large and in charge sometimes, you know? Jordan, you're not large. I walk in the studio. You're 40 you kilos. are 45 kilos. Walk in the studio. Sup, boys? <laughs> you, you got it. What's happening today? Maybe your ego's 100 <laughs> kicks, but look. And you don't give me enough credit. I'm more than 40 kilos. How, how heavy are you? Well, I've been eating Maccas for this uh, last few weeks. Ah, of so, course. Um, I've been bulking. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, dirty bulk. <laughs> You've been bulking for three years, Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> dirty bulk. <laughs> that dirty bulk. Well, how dirty does it have to go for you, Jordan, before you actually start to put on some weight? That's a great question. <laughs> I'd I love to see what you... Uh, have you ever watched those, like, uh, World's Strongest Man videos or, like, bodybuilder yep. videos where yep. they're, like, 10,000 calorie challenge? <laughs> yeah. That's what I want to see you, Jordan. I would get through, like... A couple of eggs, and I'd be like, oh, I'm done now. <laughs> yeah, I'm full, boys. you got to uh, chuck sorry. 22 eggs in the blender and chug it down, mate. <laughs> no room for excuses. Disgusting. <laughs> well, tech pause is done, so we will not have to wait any longer to get back into the action. Big. They're by all over the place. Minimal utility. A couple of galils in the mix, surely. What's Tizian got? Another Galil there. Both of these teams, their money's pretty cooked here, lads. Double orb set up for Godsent. Big's got that one AWP that they've barely been able to afford there. A little bit of loss bone is still there for Big, so if they do get the bomb plant, then maybe they could uh, be cooking with gas here. Underpass pressure is punished by Keto, and he's well aware that Crystal's down there as well. So Big in a good position in a critical round. This is where they can really start getting back into mm. the game and another pick goes their way as well. Searson on that AWP, important as ever, catching Farleg on the jump spot. He's been doing that all half long and it's it's actually quite rare that you see a T-side team punish that jump jump spot, you know, and actually try to isolate it. But uh, Searson's done a good job of finding that pick there. Time for something special for Godsent. And Sen having picked off Tizian is good news. Brings it back to four on three. Keto doesn't actually win the important aim jewel in Palace. In isn't actually going to grab that kill. Crystal falls though in connector, and so it's Maiden and Sen. Important shot, and he does connect it. It's still winnable for Godsent in the two on two. Molly to try and deny the bomb plant. I don't think it's gone down in time. Does cost Searson a lot of his HP, but Maiden has made a huge rotate into mid, and I wonder if Big are going to expect that. Nice uh, fake flash coming out from Searson there, pushing in for a bit of control. Zent doesn't seem to be aware of the rap coming through. Now CT going to be fully cleared out. Searson gets that information. It's a 180 crossfire between Tetris and CT, and there's no utility here for the CTs, mm. though, so... They're just going to give it up. Yeah. Gave it a good crack of turning it around from like a three on five or something. Godsent being quite resilient and tenacious when they start to lose a couple of numbers. And again, they've kept it quite expensive for Big. So you're seeing Big, they've reduced their loss bonus by two in these last couple of rounds, which means that uh, next time that they do lose, they're going to get quite a little, quite a lot less money. And uh, they've consistently been dropping guns. Both of these last two rounds that they've won have come down to one player surviving. Which means that, uh, I mean, long story short, their economy is in the bin. But uh, God sent their economy is also in the bin, which means they won't really have room to punish. So yep. they're just kind of looking for damage here, or maybe one of these miscellaneous rounds where Maiden or Zen has a big impact. One mm. of the deagles goes large. Big spray over towards the B bomb site of Utility. Smokes are going flying in there, but Crystal could be good for one with the deagle. Probably needs it. And did a lot of damage, to be fair, but no kill. 
Maiden on the rotate up short, though. Has managed to find oh, one okay. and Sand another. The guns are being put to Ooh. good work. Maiden, he has two now. And it's just a couple. In fact, only one remaining on the bomb oh. site. Tizzy and he's flanked from all angles. Oh. And Godsend have won a miracle round. Look, they pick up a couple of guns as well. And now their money looking pretty great. As for Big, like I said, one player surviving these last couple of rounds. They have enough to buy. But if they want an AWP, Xantaris is going to have to go down to light armor, and that AWP has been quite important for them. And not to mention the fact that their money is going to be broken here. They are going to be right down to zero dollars in the bank account. So if Godset picks this one up as well, then their economy is going to be broken, and you're going to see Godset go up to probably double digits and move into a very one-sided scoreline. And just look at their money on that CT side now. Actually big. Being a little bit more passive with the economic investments, Xantaris had a bit more cash than everybody else. He's gone for a hero, AK, and armor, and the rest of Big taking a half bite. That's Deco here with the MAC-10 on A ramp, and only a couple of players with head armor on Big, so that could actually be quite useful later on in the round. See what he does with it. Has been showing a tendency to push into T-Spawn quite a lot. Tizian just makes a lot of footsteps trying to draw out the utility there, and he does exactly that. Now Crystal... Doesn't have that Molotov or that nade to be dropping. Progression Smoke comes out from Tizzy and getting close into an entry position and awaiting the utility thrown out by Sears, and in it comes. Crystal in a good spot to deal with that first player. How many more, though, is he going to have to find? Tapson also drops. Oh. They're all coming out a waterfall, and Sand is there locking down the angle, trading his buddy out. That's that. That's done and dusted. 9-3 to three the scoreline now, and God sent continue this roll. Ah, Big took a half buy, but their money is still not much better than it was before. At least Searson will be able to afford an AWP now, but still, like, you're looking at Tabson down at 3.6k. A couple of the lads going to be a little bit light on the util, ah, mostly just Tizian, but... They're right. But, like, still, after taking a half buy where they don't get any economic damage done, they can only just sort of put a buy together, and Godsense money only just got much better. So I think it's just going to be buys for the rest of the half here for Godsent. And they're already up 9-3, whereas Big, they're looking like they're struggling to even put a round together. They, I mean, Jordan, you were saying the game's not over yet, but like... It's not, geez. but it's starting to look like it is, isn't it? Yeah. Big looking very flat indeed. Very uncharacteristic. Let's not forget, though, Big had an 11-4 half on Vertigo and still lost that map. So 9-3, it's a good start for Godsent. Yes, but. true. It's definitely not the end of the road, although the light at the end of the tunnel is starting to peek through. Well, now into a three-map sample size, it said so much better on the CT side. Mm. That's true as well. So I wonder what is the pass score then, you know? 9-3, it looks good at the moment, but if it goes to 9-6, maybe that's not quite enough. Maybe they do need 12 on the CT side. Who knows what they've got on the T. Well, big, a lot of uh, presence in middle and palace for the time being, trying to isolate the aggression on those extremities. Crystal playing retake on that B bomb site. They've not really got any control towards middle. Most of these players over towards A. Sticko is still holding on to that MAC-10, actually, to this buy round. What's the play here for Big? Again, they've run about... 45 to 50 seconds off of the clock and not really made anything happen. Well, look at this. Godsent just holding onto that utility for so long. Only now they start to use a couple of those smokes. It's going to be Sticko again, just trying to play the one way. Yeah, smoke on towards top of Con and Window. Big with 40 seconds to go. Only now just start to take some middle control. Seems like they're setting up for potentially an A split here. Aggression in towards A ramp, though, for Sticko. No one's going to be able to clear him out of that angle, but equally, he's only got the MAC-10, so mm. it's not like he's going to be able to oh, spray nade. players crossing the site. Huge. Decent nade in there. Great counter utility so far coming in from Godsent today. Sam has been spotted, but he's still going to be a thorn in Big's side, even if they can deal with him. Look at that! Big peak from Maiden. Right on top of Ticket Booth, he does get the kill, but he's going to lose both of his teammates. Sticko can't deny the bomb plant. Farlik does just get Zantara's equalizing the numbers somewhat, but made in a one on three required. Does just need to spam through this smoke, and he does. Okay. Catching Keto. Tabson's low. Tizian full HP. Well, Bomb's not going to be planted for Tizian, though. So if Tabson goes down, which he will not, he does the downing himself as hmm. Maiden falls. How's and that big falling apart? Bring it I back. Think, uh, look, 
I think if Sticko actually has an M4 there, he denies that bomb plant. And yeah, he, he can play been. a little bit differently in that situation. But I don't know if that necessarily would have been the difference. I think Big won a lot of duels in other parts of the map as well. So, uh... Oop. I thought it was getting a bit dicey for Big there. They were really running the clock down, taking mid control very late into the round. And like you said, Mac, they you saw the boys on Godsent holding a lot of their mm. utility. Actually, now they're looking quite broke heading into this round number 14. So if they lose this round here, it could be in a dicey situation. Maiden's going to start it off nicely on this AWP. It's a big hole in the smoke here for Maiden to work with, and he's going to try and take advantage of that. Trade so far, one for one with the Orps. Maiden Ooh. is actually not going to get another one. It was Farley. Yeah, he was in towards B apps, and Tizian was again holding that angle, trying to anticipate the B apartments aggression over towards what? the extremity. Searsits taking matters into his own hands, though. Already found one pick in this round, and jumping around the ladder room finds oh. yet another, but again, it's the double orps on the CT side. Yeah, Bomb. Farley, he's made his way all the way through lowers. He's waiting for Searson to make a move, and Zentaris, his position not quite known. Well, it is now. Sticko deals with him, and this should be another for Godsent. Searson, how can he fight his way back in? Looks like he's going to walk straight into Farley's cross. Head. There it is, 10 on the board for Godsent, looking to make it 11. Dicey situation that they recover from nicely, Godsent. And uh, you were looking at their money heading into that round number 15. If they had lost, would have been like 2.5k in the bank account or something of that nature. Really would have struggled to put together a good buy there. But they have avoided that worst case scenario. And although they do have to go down to the 5-7, Big also have to go down to a couple of pistols themselves. It's a good start for Godsent. Although, even when they have started with the initial frag, some of these rounds have been a little bit touch and go. This one, though, on the other hand, is looking like it may be pretty clean. Maiden has got himself another frag there as well. Three on five, big posturing. One player in Palace, a couple over towards the B bomb side, or at least that's the direction that they're headed in. Good setup though for Godsend at the moment. Let's see if Big can fight their way back. Godsend. Are well, going to make an aggressive maneuver? Yeah, look at the aggression into A ramp. It's quite a good play in this current scenario. And Kido, he's found. So nice pick again. Zen doing some great work. Two on the board already and looks like it's going to be big just using brute force up short but they're going to slow it down boost onto the double blocks and that's going to be cleared out by Sears and Zantara is very worried about the flank just looking to cover each other's tails Crystal with the line and might be able to find both this should be the half should be indeed Searson has been doing okay for big on this T side, but hasn't had too much assistance from the rest of the boys either way. Godsent is looking like the better team at the moment. 11 to four is the first half scoreline, and maybe that 2-0 is a possibility now.
Taking advantage of every second, now I ain't got time to waste. They all tryna sign my name, they want me to sign my name. Counting the blessing while I count that in my winnings. We take fifties and hundreds and throw them up to the ceiling. Everything I envision, now everybody gon' win this. Only difference between us is I ain't stop till I finish it. I feel on top of the world, I feel on top of the world right now. I feel on top of the world, I feel on top of the world right now. I always wanted the world, I wanna conquer the world right now. I feel on top of the world, I feel on top of the world. For the last time, to sing a song is a battle cry. No life, I see the clue between the strobe lights and honey. Blackface, hey, follow me around, okay, ah. Uh. Blackface, hey, follow me around, okay, ah. Uh. You so want it bad, you so want it bad, but ah. Uh. Eleven to four, the scoreline, and now it's starting to look like Big might actually drop the series. Godsend! What a great comeback they had on Vertigo, and now a great start to the second map as well. Pilski, what is your take on this? The GG bet odds very much favouring Godsend at this point. Uh, my take on this is that uh, this is a very important game for Big, and they seem to be sort of capitulating at the worst possible time. We're getting into the tail end of this group. Godsend are already down one and four. They had a terrible, lackluster first half of Vertigo, but ever since that, they've been able to put a lot of the pieces together. And after winning some big rounds, Zen in particular is having a, a stellar day, as well as Maiden and Sicko. They're all really having their moments. Mm -hmm. It seems like the individuals on Godsend are firing up, and that's a bit too much for Big to handle at the moment. Zen is 21 and six after the first half. That's Whoa. unreal. But even like Far League and all the other boys are having some really sick individual rounds, you know, highlights from everyone. You love we to just, see it. We just saw a fake Exe with decoys over we on did, the A we side. We did, yeah. Seen that a couple times. I thought that was cool. At the same time, though, there hasn't really been any response from Big. That's not fooling anyone. Yeah, so they haven't wasted any util off the back of that. They're sort of just still sitting in their positions. And now God sent, I'm going to go towards this B site. Stack's not here though. Let's see if Zantaras oh. can tap some heads. Found one already as Maiden makes his way across the side. It's going to be Zantaras to try to clean up, but Sticko trades it out nicely. And that's going to be the three on three for the retake. Yeah, nice smoke to go into the market window as well. And Bomb Plant can go down as a result. Three on three, as you say, Mac. Defuse kit in hand for Tizian, but some decent post plants for Godsend at the moment, and Big are going to send it out onto the site. Oh. Immediately, Zan does drop. Now it's onto Stiko at bench to try and salvage. Tizian drops, oh. and so does Tabson. Oh. Okay. There goes the pistol. This is worst-case scenario for Big. Like, it couldn't get more difficult for them from this position. Um, they're down 12-4. and four. Like, chasing a lead on the CT side is so difficult in the current state of the economy. Um, I'll have you know, I had some good words with Sticko last year at IEM. Yep. Let him know what a HSP was, recommended it. Did he pay Sent you back to the, the right taxi? Place. No, it was Woxic, but look, we'll talk about that another time. So what you're telling me is... Well, all I'm saying is Sticko's playing pretty good. He sounded like he treated you well, Mac, and uh, Woxic's not in the team right now, so <laughs> I guess it all comes around in the end, right? Certainly does. Yep, you get what's coming. Oh, Searson. Get some info there with the jiggle, but not going to go for the full commit. Is the force buy up from Big. If this doesn't go well for them, I'd say they're kind of out of chances. It will be God sent probably into the anti eco, probably up to 14 4. And that's a nightmare scenario for Big. Let's see if they can try to make this force buy work, though. God sent executing this short split now, and they've already found a pick. Zantara's between a rock and a hard place. He's going to oh. need some dynamite to break out of there, but. Not available at the moment. It's just a saving from Big. They can't contest that. They've already lost the opening picks, and the, the pressure just mounts more and compounds on Big and Godsend. It seems like they're full confident right now. They are flowing. 
taking every duel, taking every peak, looking absolutely fearless at this point. And they're going up to 13-4. Who could blame them? Credit where it's due. Godsend have looked really good today. See us some taps and Antizian to save there. Uh, well, their armor, their deagles, a bit of util scout there as well. But it's a bit of pill to swallow right now for big. As we may be getting towards the last few rounds of this series. It's really starting to get to the pointy end, isn't it? And Godsent might just solidify Big's position at the bottom of the group and stop them on their journey to the finals. Seems to be the way that this one's going. Potentially so. Money builds up quite a bit for Godsent there. You can see all sitting with about 3k in the bank. That's a great way to be on that chief side. Heading into another anti-eco. If they get another clean one, they're going to be... Absolutely cruising along, push into Palace from Tizian. Angle being held nicely by Sticko in quite a defensive position. Now they execute onto this A site. Once nice nade. Fearsome on this T side. The utils getting thrown on in through Palace. Goes Sticko and straight into the sandwich as well. He's going to have that one and eat it. Searson and Xantaris. The last two alive for big and no connection from the scout so far. And there's a big connection onto Searson. So, I dare say that round is pretty much done and dusted. God's only going to be up to 14. All five surviving. Just look at their cash. Jesus. So much money in the bank. Now big are down 14-4 and they're on the CT side. Basically, they have to win a big string of rounds and they have to do it convincingly because if they don't, the CT economy is going to come back to bite them. Oh, yeah, they have to do what Godsent did on Vertigo, but look, a couple of rounds better than that. Oh, but yeah, like they have to do that times three. Times two, really, not three. Well, first gun round here for big. Godsent are holding on to a handful of Galils in the MAC-10, so this is a bit of a bonus for them. It's not like they can't win it. They are sort of just anticipating aggression, defensive positions towards B apartments, waiting for an underpass push, waiting for top mid aggression. And I'd imagine after a lot of time does start to pass, they will either group up and take some mid control, which it seems like they're lining up the smokes for. Or perhaps not. Yeah, where are we going with this one? There's Crystal the window smoke. Still with the Mac 10 in play. Yeah, big have kind of just vacated mid, really. They're not interested at this point. Mostly just playing towards the sites. Mm. With 55 seconds, God sent now Molly onto the bricks. They take that mid control. They're going to smoke off top of Con and re smoke window. And Reduce everyone's split. in middle. There's no one towards A or B. Now only Sticko is heading over towards this A side of the map. Searson still laying in wait. Tizian at Firebox, able to strike at any Dude, given Zen's got moment. The bomb. Oh no, Zen. If he goes down, that could be the game changer, but no CTs are going to spot it just is yet. Is he trying to show the bomb intentionally? Maybe. Well, there's three over toward B right now, and they're at the moment staying there, so. I wonder if that's worked. Rotation starting to come in from the CT side. Searson misses a shot, punished for it. Tizian oh. by Firebox. Has done a lot oh. of damage, but there's a headshot to greet him as he peeks back on out. It's Antares and Tabs that might be the saving graces for Big. The rotation comes across and it's enough. The CTs will win themselves around and Godsent will be left wanting for now. Yeah, as far as round losses go though, that's kind of a success for Godsent. They took three of the guns off Big in their bonus. So uh, I'd say they're pretty happy with that. They're still chipping away at that CT economy, still keeping it on the precipice of breaking and allowing Big to reduce their loss bonus. So as long as they continue keeping Big honest and just keep taking guns out of their hands, eventually when they do get across the line and win one of these rounds, they could try to break that economy. And uh, then they'll be on match point up against a Big with uh, 2 or 3k in the, in the kitty. Won't be able to put together a good bite. Ooh. Farley going to be flashed off the line, but big. Not overcommitting. Tizian doesn't want to fall for free. Untradeable position there. And 
again, a slower approach from Godsent. This time, way more split up and not prioritizing mid control as much. At least in the early stages. Yeah. Again, just sort of anticipating aggression, like you said, Mac, holding all the extremities, not really taking mid at all. Only now does the window smoke come out, once again, at about a minute 10. But this time, God sent not taking mid control. So last round, they threw that utility and contested mid quite a bit, used that connector control. This time, it's just the window smoke and Zen lurking up, and they're going to go for a bit of a 1-4. Oh, beautiful timing. Hmm. Unfortunate. Doesn't really work out for him. And there's another trade coming through. Zen has got himself a kill. So four on three right now. Big advantage for Godsent. Oh, and I think Zentaros was just barely spotted. Oh. But, oh, perfect timing on the peak denying the plant. That's some extra on the clock for Big to work with now. But Maiden still not spotted here at Stairs. Able to play over the top of the smoke. And he finds another on Akito. Zentaros just doing all the work himself right now. Sears in, in the mix. One on Sticko and Maiden. They know where he is. They know where he was playing. But he's only got 10 seconds to get this pick, get the bomb and try to plant it. He might just be able to get this one, though. Zantara's not prepared for the push. 51 HP here for Maiden. Has to move quickly and has to plant safe from jungle, which at the moment he's not quite. Searson probably gets him here. And he backs up into the wrong angle. If he would have gone towards CT, he'd have been fine. Yeah. But he expected Searson from there. That's where Searson was last spotted, so... He didn't expect the reroute back through jungle side, and Searson, well aware of that, takes advantage of it. But at the same time, it's like I was saying, lads, Again, it's one of those rounds where Big only has one player surviving. They are still on the breaking point. And with that bomb plant for Godsent, they should still be able to put together a buy here. I think Farlig had a little bit less cash than everybody else. So I think Crystal has chosen to drop him an AK and then maybe take a Mac 10 for himself. Or potentially a pistol, something of that nature. Godsent take attack timeout. They know that Big is on the breaking point here. Look at their money, Big. Like, all sitting around 3.5k. Only yeah. the one... Uh, actually, Season got a little bit better cash than I expected. So they could actually go for a double AWP or drop two rifles over. They're going to go for a double AWP. Ooh, that danger. might actually be quite hard to read from Godsent, to be honest, because it's sometimes quite tricky to read that one player who survived consecutive rounds in a row that that player will in particular be the one who has high money because when you look at the round loss bonus, uh, or, sorry, when you open the scoreboard and you look at how many players survived, it doesn't tell you who survived. Yeah. So a lot of the time you won't expect a double AWP in a round like this and you can actually be caught off guard by it. If you're not keeping track of that, that kind of thing. And, uh, you know, I'd say it's pretty rare for some... I've never really heard of someone who particularly tries to keep track of who survived. You know, try to keep track of exactly how much money. It's usually of an, kind of an estimation. Sometimes that can get you in a bit of trouble. Let's see if Godsent can convert with the lackluster buy coming up from Crystal. He had a bit of a rough game earlier on, so let's see if he can pick it up here. Maybe get something done with the Deagle. He's going to be going in first for the information. Just dry pushing there next to the smoke. As we do see Tizian very close, very at the ready. Just waiting to go into a main smoke. Refresh just at the perfect time. Yeah, and again, Sears, God sent silent. Sears still got that counter flash as well. It's a matter of time. Pop through. Crystal with the info knows that they're playing close. Now Maiden going to be flashed off the line as Tizian continues to drop some utility of his own, but that's going to be the entry Maiden in now as Godstent start to turn the tides, but Searson has a say in the matter. Zen finds him through the edge of triple, and now this is looking good, but again, big. They've got Zentaris here playing from Connie. He's been so instrumental in these round wins. Smoke's starting to fade as well, and you can see that coming into effect. Keto, he's going to get himself one. Zentaris, as you mentioned, Mac, never out of the round, and this time a double. 14 to 7. Big are starting to build on this CT side. They are. And that's the round that resets the T side. So big, once again, only surviving with two players. But at least this time, they'll be able to head into an anti-eco and be given an opportunity to build up that cash a little bit more, which is where the game starts to get a little closer. As for Searson and... Um, who was it that was playing close ramp there? It was... Um, 
with the MP9? Was it Keto? Tizian. Oh, Tizian. Tizian, yeah. They, they only went one for one, but they actually did so much work there. They bought mm. so much time with that delaying utility and just counter flashing time and time again that allowed those smokes to clear and the rotations to come in, which meant it was very hard for Godsent to get that bomb plant down. And that's something that's underrated. You know, a lot of the time you think of, oh, how many kills can the CT get? But actually, it's sometimes more valuable to just delay for the rotations Ooh. to come in. Missed opportunity, and the nade from Tabson secures it onto Zent. Off the back of the flash, clearing mid. No one up cap that time. And big reposition to the 2 1 2 setup. Godsent also regrouping and looking to hit the B site now, but Keto's on a dangerous line through window. Should be first contact here if no utils used, but there's no util to use, so. Should be a freebie, no miss, all right. Zantara is going to be fighting from get right instead. The lineup's there, and he's not going to be dealt with that all. Three for him, one for Tabson, and a quick round for Big. Well, they creep ever close up. I wonder at what point do we start to get a little bit concerned for Godsent, you know? At the moment, uh, it's still well and truly their game to lose. 14-8, six-round buffer. Money is getting pretty decent on the CT side now, though. So it's not going to be a case of win one and win both. They're going to have to fight for both these two rounds. Mm. Another gun bite. Oh, God sent. But a little bit lacking on the utility, particularly on Farlik. Bit more of a contest earlier in the round towards middle this time around. Tabson. Mm. Good work early. Just so many early picks for big. Is that a missed window smoke I think from Godsent? That's really not great. Tabson's taken full advantage of that, and they've lost the man advantage. Ooh, silent boost in a window comes through, though. No one at jungle to hear it, and this could be the round changer if Maiden makes his way through and flanks into that B side. Although, Tabson, how's the timing? It's good, but the aim for Maiden is just one bit better. Now, reswinging in, it's Sears into trade. That's going to be a second for the round. 2v4 situation. Godsent, can they fight their way back? No, Sisson too sharp on the AWP. And it looks like it could be the AWP to finish as well. Keto, wow. the secondary mm. over through apartments. That's a big round for big. And it puts nine on the board. You can start to feel the tides turning a little bit. That was a very convincing round that's going to put Godsend on yet another half bar, Jordan. Just want to see a tactical pause from Godsend about now. I well, think they, already a good did, they already did one and they got kind of slammed. Mm, well, does it hurt? I well, don't know, maybe. If we go back to the percentages, Godsend, 75% of their rounds on mm. the CT side. It's true. They I need think... five to close it on the T here. They had about that in this half, that, this last half as well. But to be honest, you know, if all they need is 25% or 30% of those T rounds, that's all they need to get. In fact, less than that. It's two rounds. They just need two. Yeah. Good timing on the smoke. Zantara is fully flashed off. Crystal able to trade pretty much for free there, all the way out on the site. No one here to stop them. Keto down on short. Denies the cross. And... Unable to stop that bomb from going down Maiden. Just trying to be a bit of a nuisance here over towards Short. Tabson finds this one. Keto just unable to connect. But it's going to be uh, Searson coming in on well. market instead as Maiden. He's just going to try to dance around all the CTs. Can't isolate the fights effectively. And Searson, two on the retake, is a solid one for Big. So, yes, the bomb's gone down. That's going to be plenty of money in the bank for Godsent heading into round 25. Starting to get to crunch time, though, for Godsend. Yeah, uh, if it wasn't already, like, you can already see Biggs picking up quite a bit of momentum. Godsend seems to be falling flat quite often. They should know now, though, that Big is continually running this double orb setup, and they need to sort of formulate an answer for that, because that is where they've been finding a lot of trouble. Particularly, Searson has really been firing up and finding a lot of picks all over the place. Again, no contest in mid from Godsent. Searson just aggressively posturing. He doesn't see anything in mid, and he just walks straight up middle. Just goes for the post towards top middle and finds a ton of information there for big. That's massive. Now starting to vacate that position. Mm. CC's making a fair bit of noise, though. Godsent in the underpass, hearing a lot of that. See where Searson decides to go here. It could be quite instrumental in the round if he is going to watch the underpass or not. 
He just dancing around, covering everything himself like a turret, but underneath he's not going to expect Maiden, and he's missed the shot, which is very uncharacteristic. Oh, like Edo, another! Oh, that was a sit! Uh, managed to get one from the back, but knows that two players are starting to make their way through as well. Tabson going to be burning Farley alive as Maiden, now going to be last alive, and a one on four, and he's got absolutely no chance in this round. Yeah, this is not looking good for Godsend. I've got to say, at this point, it seems like they're going to need a miracle to get through one of these rounds. And now, unfortunately, they're going to need two because the money is built up so exponentially for big. Yeah. This is looking like a comeback. And Max just molding at the moment. He's got somewhere to be after this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah? Oh, yeah. You're going to miss your appointment. My appointment? Yeah, Where's that invite? I thought we were best friends. Pilski, Elfish Guy, oh, I and thought Matt. you said we were just <laughs> the three musketeers. You, you said keep, that. You, you said co workers. You keep changing the narrative, Jordan. The three musketeers. Best Sorry. friends Depending for life. Depending on how you're feeling on the day, we're best friends for life, or we are like colleagues that are borderline adversaries. Remember that scrapbook we made? <laughs> I'm going to go home and burn it. You do that, mate. You do that. I put so many hours into that. <sighs> yeah, well, wasted hours. Well, God sent. They're going to try and win a round here with three grenades between five players at a minute 25 on the clock. Uh, they definitely have their work cut out for them here. Going to have to be hitting some sharp shots on their way into the sites. Bombs being left in B apartments. Someone's got to go back for that. Hopefully Crystal will do so. It's God sent. Creeping through middle in the mid round. Have boosted old mate Maiden up there with the AK. Which I've, I'm going to put my faith in anyone. It's probably Sticko or Maiden. All I'm at saying this point, is Zen's been pretty solid too. CT side OP for both of these teams. Tabson going on a bit of an exploration over towards a main. Let's see if Sticko can find the perfect timing now. Godsent just trying to draw a lot of attention coming up con, but this crossfire is looking pretty damn good. Searson waiting for the peak to come through, and he should go down. All right, three on. on two now. This is the A site found, and big need to go for the retake. This is the round that Godsend has to win. They can get the bomb plant down. It's open, but they've given up a kill. Still, Maiden trades it down, so it's okay. Two on one. Xantara is deadly, though today for Big, and he might be able to make this one happen. He can try to keep it alive for them. Knows the position of Maiden. Oh. Goes around the corner, but he can't win that duel. 29 and 12 now for Maiden. And God sent a one round away from completing the 2 and 0. Oh, such a crazy trio of firepower. Just between Zen, Sticko, and, and Maiden at the moment, it's just so much for, for Big to handle. And when I saw them in the three-on-three three or the three-on-two, I'm like, this round is surely going to be over. Seems like as long as Godsent can put Zen, Maiden, and Sticko into some decent positions, they're probably going to win the round. Yep. So all they need to do is just try to do that one more time, and they can push this across the line. But as for Big... In the context of where this has, you know, come to, I think, what are we at in this last couple of rounds? It must be something crazy. Like, they've been gone like seven for one or something. What is it? One, yeah, two, seven three. for one. Yeah, they've gone seven for one in the last eight rounds. Ooh. So, in theory, you know, if Big continues through these kind of rounds, they can potentially still push this to OT. It's not unrealistic. But God sent that might have been... You know, you could see them going back towards middle in the mid-round. They might have sort of cracked the code as to what they need to do to break down this CT side. Oh, but for now, one-dimensional approach. I'm going to just go for the A execute. Right side smokes with a couple of flashes. It's going to be powerful fallout. The waterfall. Although that's going to be stopped mm. for the moment. Great utility coming out at the right moment for big. I don't know how I feel about this one for Godsend. Here comes the util, but Tizian's in the perfect oh, spot to shut hard. it down. Oh, that's why you can't just run out through a smoke from Palace. Just Searson helps him out, but Tizian was the man in that round, and it's Zan left alive here for Godsend. So we're back to square one. Yeah, I mean, that, uh, looks, that looks like a really weird play from Godsend, but you, what you forget is the fact that you know, a lot of the time on the CT side, you often see somebody playing retake CT from that ticket booth. You think you can just get out Palace for free without throwing the flash first, and your flashes are there. You can see these flashes only come out a couple of seconds after the smokes are thrown out. Those are thrown to anticipate the rotation from the connector player, not for a bunch of players posted on Palace right from the start of the round. So unfortunately, 
as for Big, that's kind of just the case of they've scissors, paper, rock their opponent. You know, they were very much set up for that palace pop to come out, and uh, that setup has done absolute wonders for them. But of course, chat is going to go, haha, why is God sent so stupid? Well, God well, Godsend, do that. not going to be ready for that aggression, and that's going to be one of the AKs lost already. Godsend, rough situation for them, made even worse now, and that's going to be full power control. Tizian pops over to the AK. Looks to try and force his hand further in. Hmm. Crystal's going to walk out onto A and see if he can do anything special with that Deagle, but... This is such a nasty one for Godsent to deal with. That crossfire established with the player in Palace. I mean, you've even got Xantara's watching short, watching from short. Well, Zen's in a decent position to try to dismantle this round, but yeah, it is the double CT setup and the Palace that is going to be the hard part of this to crack. Zen's doing a good job, though. He's found a pick on the B rotator. He's started to create some space in towards Connector. Ooh. Crosshair placement's good, but... Just can't land that one dig. Manages to cross now, but planting will be very difficult with Tizian coming in from the flank. Flash through. That should be both for him, although Zen's not spotted. Initially, it is going to be Tizian to get it. It was actually Tabson to find that first kill. Godsent going into another T round where they're going to have a little bit less utility on a couple of their players. And no AWP. Like I said, big. I mean, all they needed was four in a row. They went seven for one. Surely they can push this into OT. But God sent a couple more chances here. Well, you say surely, but all it takes is one round. Yeah, I know. One bit of magic from God sent. Someone hits a nice entry, they're into B. Something like that. I think you, you just want to put Maiden, Sicko, and Zen into a post plant. And yep. surely this is your game for God sent. But the question is if you can even make it into a post plant. They haven't been able to get the bomb plant down all that often. There's an incendiary to greet all of the utility that's been thrown in by God sent on oh, the B. Nade. Nade's going to be a great one. Actually, doesn't do too much, but Xantaris has already done some damage. Still, he can only get one this time, and that might not be enough. Keto is on the bomb site, and he'll be helped out by that rotation of Tabson. Misses a shot, however, and punished for it. But the trades do come back on through from Big. They're so quick on these rotates, and Godsent are just not quick enough into the bomb sites, which leaves it on sand. One on three. Has got the first. Oh. Knows there's another there as well, because it was a boost. Trades out the AK, and... He had the right idea. Oh, that was brave from Tabson to run out market at that point in time. If he loses that duel, you could be losing the round as big, but he stays confident and he's actually big in an excellent spot to be able to grab that OT. Look, the fact that Keto manages to get one from that position on the re-peak is absolutely crazy. And could have been the complete change of the round, but here we are. Final round of regulation again. Look, look Can, at God's Big's done it one better. Look at Godsense money, man. Like 3.5k, that is not where you want to be mm -mm. with match point having to be secured. Surely this goes to OT. You got to go down to Galil's, you got to go down to AK Light Armor, maybe some MAC 10s, something like that. It's really not ideal. I'm surprised more of them aren't going head armorless because there is a mm. couple of AKs. Obviously, they can't see that, but they should be aware that. Some of those big players are able to pick up some AKs. Who knows? Either way, you see Farlig in particular buying up some utility before he tries to purchase this primary. So it seems like Godsend have something particular in mind. And Zen is the main man with the AK and armor. Well, Godsend's last opportunity now to send it back to a 2-0 without having to deal with overtime. And... Really just send big packing. Kind of ruin their hopes and dreams in ESL Pro League. Wouldn't be the end of the world for big, but it would definitely make their life a lot more difficult. There's a lot of teams that are in similar score lines in this group to big. So losing the Godsent, who are down the bottom of the table, would definitely put you in a bit of a rough position to try to contest for playoffs. This is much more important for big to win than it is for Godsent, but Godsent are putting in the hard yards. Yeah. Let's see if they've come up with a good enough plan here to try to get this across in regulation. Yeah, right now it's big with the momentum. 
Speaking of, they're going to go for the very close setup in A main to their CS, and that's the entry. Big flash to set that one up. Zent, he's fallen. Yeah, that's the AK loss as well for Godsend, so their real punching power in the round out of the picture. Be a slow creep in toward B, and the flash is to push Searson off the line, but Godsend needs some clean entries, and that's Ooh. about it. Maiden does well, has the AK in hand now too, and Zantares can't get really a whole lot done from short, so maybe, just maybe, this can be the round that Godsend have been looking for. Three on three, the post plant, you've got Maiden and Farlik in that post plant. Missed smoke creates space for Keto to actually walk out market here. Just trying to wrap around. The bench player needs to hit. It's made and has been so solid for God's sake, but he's going to be spotted. Oh. Great flick. Keto wants some more. He's going to be stuck in empty pillar. And it's all up to Maiden. Has to get past three now. Can't quite isolate. It's Keto to get it over the line. And big take us to overtime again. Yeah, once again, a big comeback on the CT side. This time it's from big. And again, as you say, Mac, we've headed towards overtime.
It's not over yet, ladies and gentlemen. Strap yourselves in, because we might be in for a long game. Big, if they win this map, push us through to map number three. And what a fantastic comeback they made on that CT side of Mirage. They've got it into overtime. And it's much the same fate that they suffered on Vertigo that they are now doing to Godsense. So, the question becomes, are they going to be able to push it over the line? Yeah, very similar state of events. You see Godsent on that CT side of Vertigo brought back 11 in a row to secure OT as well as win that OT. As for Big here, just to secure OT, they were down 14 and 4 after the pistol, which was won by Godsent and the subsequent anti-force and anti-eco. Once we headed into the gun rounds, Big went 10 and 1 on the CT side to come back. Something that you don't see too often. CT side comebacks are so difficult in the current state of CSGO, just due to how the economy works. You, you can yeah. always just be put on that precipice. Mm. And particularly when you see Godsend up 14 rounds on that 14 round mark, all it takes is that one economic reset for you to lose a match. Yeah, it was 11 rounds for Big and one round for Godsend in the final 12 rounds of the map. So that kind of gives you an indication as to how one-sided it was. And Godsent was, to be fair, pretty lucky, I guess, that they got that pistol. Otherwise, we might not have even seen them get to overtime because, for me, they only won one gun round, that half. Yeah. And well, that's not a great picture. That's it. Tara's going overall, man, was absolutely smacking them over on the A-side. It's actually pretty even across the board for big. Whereas Godsent just have Maiden straight out in front on 31 kills so far. Yeah, they got a couple of players firing up as well. Again, Searson, after not seeing anything in middle, has taken matters into his own hands and just walked up middle to gather that information for big. Godsent trying to contest from underpass. Unfortunately, the M4A1S for Tabson, he's having a 97 in 4 kind of day and he goes down to that AWP. That's a sad state of affairs, but Searson here... That's a cheeky Ooh. angle. There's no way you expect an orb on that line from Maiden. You are very hard done by. And the Molotov to even secure his safety there. Good teamwork from Big. And he just peeks out. What? Well, okay. <laughs> he just loses his life. He's feeling right. confident. At the very least, you can say that much. Now there's some util that's being thrown in onto A. It's a fake rather than anything else, though. And we'll see where the Big are going to rotate Zantaros across. He started to float into mid. Even Keto's kind of pushed back toward market. Uh -oh. Crystal will just survive. A lot of very awkward duels, but after all said and done, Godsent just pick up the pace into this B site. Keto, can he pick one on the cross? Does indeed. Very nicely evening up the numbers and a flick as well. That's massive, uh -oh. and that's the bomb dropped. Yeah, you can't be letting that happen, Godsent. They had it on a silver platter, and now they haven't even been able to get into the B bomb site. Crystal's working his way through mid, and Farley. Doesn't win this duel. There's no chance he's going to expect Tizzy in there. One on three for Crystal. He's twisted his ankle. He's lost the round now. He can't get through that, Molly. Picks up the AWP. Isn't going to matter too much now that we're into OT and B continue their CT streak yet again. And that was a bit of a non-round, you know. It was uh, one of those cases of like, oh, bit of disruption in the early parts of the round. We end up in a four on three and the AWP kind of gets it done before anything really happens for me. That was it, Keto. Just did so much work there. Two quick ones in the round seem to be done. God sent now going for the triple AWP. Ah, T side. Okay. Uh, okay. T side triple AWP. All right, five triple. AWPs in the server. This is where we need a couple different observers. Wait, you'll see. <laughs> Do you remember the Chiefs Rooster game, which went to 7 OT? I think we got to like five or six overtimes before the triple op started to get pulled out there. <laughs> so I don't know what that says for Godsend. Well, Jordan, we are right in our element right now. Look, Sisson's yeah. about to find the bomb. He's walking through top mid, continuing to push. Here's his rotation coming through, and this could just be the first pick found. Yes, easy. One AWP gone. Second AWP almost gone, but oh. Zen fights back with the Tech 9. Yeah, now Stiko was thinking about misking it straight through that smoke, but chooses not to do so. Might not have been wise. You can see Zantara spotting that out. Teasing in quite close to the ramp. Godsend instead going to make a bit of a play towards middle when Tabson is waiting. Oh, too easy for Tabson. Just two shots. Really easy. Gets it over the line. Stiko here. He's going to try uh, and salvage. Oh, and okay. he's gotten a couple of pretty important frags, but still needs to collect the bomb. 
Both of the CTs have an AWP in hand. This is not going to be a fun aim duel. Oh! Oh! oh. <laughs> I thought All he right. was going to do it. Oh, man. Those were some dirty one taps from Seiko. But unfortunately, couldn't convert that round. A big get two in a row, continuing the CT streak into OT. Are we going to see Big do exactly what Godsent <laughs> did to them? Yeah, I don't know what Kido, uh, Tizian's doing there. He thinks he can fly, apparently. Let's see where this round ends up. Big, back on the double orb, and only one this time for Godsent. Yeah. Taking two away. Oh, we've actually seen Kido going into lowers with the orb. That's going to be a lot of information, but that completely leaves Zentara's isolated on the B site. Quick ladder control there for Godsent. Maiden up there in the key position. Keto coming out on the timing. Unfortunately, missing his shot where Searson connected. So a one for one. Searson still trying to fight through Con now, but he gives up the line at oh. the moment. Oh, timing. Wow, the repeat. The great saves Maiden's life there. There's the entry. B site now completely open, but Maiden's going to be falling as he over aggresses into window. And now. Oh, there's Hang just on. traded positions. Crystal's going to say, hey, A's clean. But you've got Tizian, who's actually gone down as he's pushed into T-spawn. Yeah. So, over-rotation from big leaves a site open. Let's see if Zen's going to be able to hear anything from here in ladder. I think Crystal's communicated that one quite nicely. Oh, it seemed quite aware that that push was coming in. Instantly punished by Stiko, who is going to get smoked and onto the bomb site. The what? push into CT spawn from Crystal gets punished by Tabs in this round, getting messy. Look Zen at, in ladder. Look at where Zen is here. Yeah, this is going to be huge. If Searson doesn't check it, there's no oh. way you do. It's such a weird round. It's just stuff happening everywhere. Stiko doesn't win the duel, though. So this is going to be onto Zen, who's only on 31 HP. Now, he's got a lot of util to play with here. A molly onto the bomb would be nice, but he's not going to be able to throw it from there. And does hit the shot. So a sigh of relief for Godsent, I'm sure, because they've got one round on the T side, which is that enough? I mean, I don't know. I guess it could be. It's, I, I mean, we watch Asian CS all the time, but this game is really pushing me a little bit. <laughs> There's just <laughs> so much happening all over the place. Yeah. Stig is so sharp, man. So aware. Oh, not happy with that one. Well, that was Crystal. He should have been. He might have been oh, the reaction yeah, when he, when he pushed into, CT, yeah. yeah. Yeah, sometimes you get deep into two of these really long games and your brain starts to leave you a little bit. Happens to the best of us. And in terms of brain power, I would say Crystal's one of the best. Nice nade into Tizian towards B Apartments there. Let's get uh, God sent off to a good start on CT site. Just where they did their best work. Did secure themselves at least that one T gun round, so did just as good in OT as they did in regulation so far. So in terms of percentages, uh, they should be in a pretty good position to win this game, right? I don't know if that's how it works. <laughs> well, work on the jungle side as big come up connector. Hmm. That's sharp from Maiden. Can't actually hang on for the second though. Tabson's. Good for the trade, and the util comes on in. Crystal, at least there, and they've dropped the bomb. Where? How is the bomb there, guys? Bomb's in jungle. Well, window's not the bomb site. Mm, bit of a rough situation to be in, and Crystal's going to continue fighting there for control of the objective, and he's done a very good job as well, finding another kill as Zentara's looks to equalize. Flash there, Stiko. Great flash. Crystal's done it all in this round. He's got two kills. He's helped Stiko out. With that flash, God sent it back to 17-17. Still hanging in the balance. Yeah, very convincing round from them. Bigger now on that weaker side as well. Yep. Seems to be the weaker side for both teams in this whole series. CT to T rounds in this series has been ridiculous. Yeah. Once it's all said and done, I'd love to take a look at the percentages of CT rounds one versus T rounds one. Well, it was 11-4, 11-4, so that's 22-8, 44-16 16 as far as CT to T is concerned. 44-16. to 16. Not, not including uh, overtime. In favour of CT. Yeah, in regulation times. Oh, well, that's going to be another one. Sticker with an opening, unable to get more than one, but Tizian doubles down for the A-site control, and now Godsent need to regroup, need to re-pressure here in CT because keto has been sent in. 
It's not looking good for God's then, is it? Three on four for the retake. Farley just falls off the line in time, but re-peaks, does get the kill on Takedo. Now things are starting to hang back in the balance again. Tizian's low on HP, fair bit of util for the CTs here, but time of the essence. Tizian, will he get mollied out of Firebox? Yes is the answer, pushed off of the line, oh. can't find the frag, and it's two on two. Great util usage, smoke on the molly to get back through, and Tabs and Searson both able to play oh. contact with one another. Searson through the smoke, barely even saw that one. Crystal, he's just going to go straight for the defuse, and Big don't give him any room. That's going to be match point for Big now, or map point rather, mm. to take us to a third. Godsent need to win this round to keep themselves alive and the uh, hopes of 2 0 -ing here. And contestion. Some big plays from Searson there. Man's really stepped up for big to keep them alive. Being a big, one of the big factors, I would say. What's the approach this time? Big sending four men into mid straight away. That's going to be a nice entry from Farley over on short. Just keep gunning it straight up con into yet another AWP, and now they're going to have to play from a three on five. There's an entry. Keto finding made and over towards a main, though. Sticko dealing with that nicely. Both remaining players starting to make their way up con. Tabs in there at stairs to try to work the angle, but it's Zen to find it. Zentara is falling essentially for free, and Tabson has to find all four to keep this map alive. Not going to be an easy task for him at all, but hey, he's got some time to work with. See Stiko by Firebox. No, Zen is at triple. Oh. And he's got the first frag. One out of four. 25% of the way there. Obviously needs to be aware of Farley behind him as well. Going to pop that flash up, see what he can do. Giving himself as many chances as he can here, Tabson. But this is such an unrealistic, unwinnable position that it would be a miracle to get it over the line. And he's just locked onto stairs. Finally falls as he rounds the corner into connector. And Farley watching that one. 18-18. So it's into overtime at number two. Yeah, I feel like the team that wins two on their T side uh, in OT is probably just going to win this game. What happened in that other match, by the way? Uh, Furia won 16-8, 16-14. Against EG? C. My golly. Okay. My golly. My golly. Did not expect that result at all. Anyway, good job, Furia. But back to the action. Second OT is live, and we see Godsend starting on the CT side this time. Yep, they'll be looking for three on the CT side. I think that's the pass score right now. Keto just goes flying out onto the bomb site, and that ain't it, Chief. He's dealt with easily. Three on five immediately from the outset. Crystal repositioning to Van at a perfect moment. Tizian, nice timing, unable to double it down as Tabson and Sisson need to fight their way back in. Tabson up short now. Hasn't been spotted. That's a freebie on a Crystal who's repositioned yet again. And there's two men here to get past. Oh. Farley hits the first as Searson just waits for a bit of over-aggression. Shoots to cover the drop sound, and it's going to work nicely. Farley falling, Searson isolating the fights as Maiden starts to dance around the window pillar. How's the timing? Searson oh. ready, and Sticko on the flank is not going to be able to make his way in oh. time, but spots it. 26 HP remains for Searson. Does a lot of damage to him at the very least. 26 HP, Pilski. Yeah, this is where Searson gets to... Potentially choose his position to plant and pay that post plant from. He is going to go towards default. Has got the Molotov, so even if he wants to try to play towards default or something like that, or towards ramp, he could drop the molly. Sticker does have a smoke, but Searson going to keep things simple. Mm. Plays towards the firebox here, looking for a quick scope or a no scope to be able to close this round out. Yeah, he could be literally anywhere right now. As far as Sticker is concerned, he was quite slow to come into this bomb site, so that gave time for Searson to really just go wherever he wanted to. Smoke down on the bomb. Seiko's going to try and touch it. And this is too easy. That is the cherry on the top for Searson. Oh, you can't give him those 1v1s in the, the three-on-one. He's punished them for it. Yeah, that's, again, another massive round where Searson has dragged Big out of a bad situation on those T rounds in OT. In that first OT, him and Tabson were the ones who dragged Big kicking and screaming through a tough situation. And again, in that round, I would argue that him and Tabs are the ones once again on that big site and then into the clutch that get it done for big yet again. Well, God sent. Just one round. Let's not get too concerned yet. Farlik starts off well again on the CT side, but he is going to be finished by Tabson. 
So big, do maintain control of mid. At least for the time being, but they're going to forfeit it. Smoking over towards the top of connector there. Just trying to keep Godsent interested as they reroute back towards A. Oh, the dry push. Sticko with the timing and Sis and the man that single-handedly won the round for Big in the previous. He's gone. He's down. Still a three on four is workable for Big. They're making their way out onto the bomb site. Tizian and Zantara is leading that charge while Tabson comes through from the underpass. Zan needs to be very careful doing that because Tizian's liable to peek him. Tabson's also oh. found a kill. There's a good headshot onto one, but he needs more here, Zan, and he can't quite get it. He's done damage, but he doesn't have a kill. Tabson will drop in the connector, and it's just Tizian now in CT spawn. Oh. Trying to deal with this one on two. Has the bomb planted favorably for him. Molotov flies past his screen, but that's going to be it. Godsent will get themselves... Their 19th round. Yeah, 2 HP, just not enough there. He had to land two crisp, clean taps and unfortunately couldn't get it over the line. So again, a tight game at 19 apiece as we head into the last round of half number one for OT2. Let's see if Big can secure that 2-1 advantage on the T side. I feel like whoever does that is probably going to close this game because T sides from both teams have been quite lacklustre, both in regulation and in OT as well. Farley going very aggressive this time. Sisson at the ready, but he's going to be falling early again. It's going to be big to try to consolidate, and uh, they might just pick up the pace. They're actually running that double all right off the bat. Tabson has one of those over towards B as well, but now that they've been smoked off, uh, they're not going to be able to pick up the pace towards that B site, and they're going to have to decide what they want to do. Minute 20 on the clock. They are still very much grouped up around B. Tara's going back to check that flank. And he does start to walk into middle. Smoke's at the ready for big, starting to be thrown into that B site now. Numbers advantage, of course, for Godsend, but not too much counter utility to work with here. It's going to be down to this crossfire, and San, he'll let Crystal deal with that one. Santaras could be the key player here if he slips into a pretty good position as these smokes start to fade towards short. He could definitely make something happen. Could indeed. Doesn't know yet that Crystal is at the pole, and well, now he has that information. So Tan has to take the challenge out in the open on the bomb site. Will win the duel. Didn't hear the drop, perhaps, or at least wasn't prepared for Tabson to roll around the corner. And this is now Big's chance to really manage a second round on the T side. It'd be big news if they were able to do that. Kito wins the duel against Maiden. Sticko making huge noise coming through apartments and big no two on one situation. Keto just six HP, one bullet will do it, but taps and misses. Now Sticko just edging forward, 15 in the mag, and that's going to be 20 on the board for big as we send it into the second half. Tabson and Searson every single time. Those two boys have just been combining on these T side gun rounds, especially in OT towards the post plants and the clutches to just get these critical rounds on the board for big. And that's mm. them securing the 2-1 advantage in OT and putting a tremendous amount of pressure from Godset to 2-1 or 3-0 on their own OT when they've been having a lackluster T side all game. Sticko hasn't bought any grenades. And he's just going to die in a Molotov uh, in a critical round like this. I is cannot this explain that. Keyboard broken? I don't know. Try to take that jewel. That's weird. This is weird. I don't know what's happened in this round for Godsend, but they need to turn it back on its head. They're not going to be able to do that. Searson, he catches Tan trying to creep through the smoke, and it's now looking very, very problematic for Godsend. This will be two map points if Big wins this round. That will put a lot of pressure on Godsend to make something happen on this T side, and... They seem to just be capitulating a little bit. Really struggled to close it in the first place, and those woes have never really gotten much better, unfortunately. Such an odd situation for Godsent to be in. And it's made even odder. Zantares finds another crystal. What can he do here over towards A? Nade in a nice position. Tizian down to 68 HP. But Searson 
able to jump up and secure that kill. Now, potential final round. Big on map point. 21 to 19. Can they get it over the line here and now? Well, Sticko, he's bought some util this time. No triple AWP for Godsent. Just back to the tried and true. One AWP, four rifles. But two rounds on the T side in overtime. I think it doesn't sound like much, but... <laughs> it really doesn't. But in the context of this game, uh, it's probably not going to happen. I'd say Big are probably going to close this and push this to a third map. Let's see what Godsen has had back, has for us rather. Backs against the wall here. Last chance for them to keep themselves alive, and they'll have to repeat twice. Very slow approach from them, anticipating that aggression in towards mm. B apartments. They flash Zen onto the line to go and have a bit of a look. Well, one step at a time here for Godsen. Let's not focus on the bigger picture. Just get the first round, and then they Ooh, can the worry boost. about the second. The boost on the AWP. This might be a freebie for Keto, but Zen. Throws that smoke down, gets the progression smoke into position, and you're going to see Big drop off that boost. They don't want to be totem poling on the top of bench if a B execute comes in. Certainly not. Godsend have shown a tendency to actually throw a few B executes here and there during their regulation time. Uh, it's not a full execute this time, and Ooh. Keto has found Crystal. This is starting to fall apart for Godsend. Another flag goes the way of Big. This time it's Santara's to chime in. And a five on three is what Godsend will have to negotiate if they want to keep this 2-0 dream alive. Keto on a solid line. Marley silently makes his way into window, and this could be a factor now. Both other players starting to make their way through lowers and into con. I don't know if they have the time, Mac. It's 28 seconds, and they're still walking around like it's the mid-round. There's no picks to be gained here. Big is very much on the extremities, and oh. Searson is ripping them apart again from triple. Bialik's gone in towards the B-bomb site. Stiko's going to have to follow him. There's nowhere else to go. They need more entries on B, and they haven't got them. It's all down to Stiko, who's been doing well this map, but this, this is unwinnable, surely. Oh, and there's just no time. And now it is, because he's not been able to land that spray, and that's going to be that big 22-19. to 19. Double overtime, but they push it through to map number 